Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Amanda here. Today, we have a lot of recipes I'm gonna share with you from, um, I mean, it doesn't have to be Young Living essential oils, I guess, but it should be because those ones are the best. They have their seed to seal promise. The list goes on and on, but obviously, like I use Young Living, so this is all Young Living products. Um, but yeah, I needed to refill on a whole bunch of different sprays that I use and a couple rollers and then I wanted to make some more sprays and make some more rollers and so I figured I would walk you through the process with me. So I'm gonna try and go about this as fast as possible. Um, you might see me fill some up and other ones I might do off camera, but I will tell you all of the recipes that they have. Um, some really great places to find some of these recipes. Um, along like as Pinterest, like hello Pinterest. Um, but one of my first books that I bought is the oil and glass book. And this has so much information in it, making anything from rollers to sprays, to teas, to rubs, anything in between. I absolutely love this book. And I would honestly say like 98% of the people that I know that have essential oils have this book as well. Um, and I just found that on Amazon. Also a book that I picked up on Amazon and this one, actually is a blank one but when I find recipes that work well for me or if I need to change something anything like that I write them in here so I don't have to search all over the place because I have like millions and millions of pins and so I just keep them all in here so I can easily just go back to this and keep them in here and it's called my essential oil recipes again I found this one on Amazon um, some other fun products that you will need to do this. I guess you don't necessarily need it, but I recommend having a little funnel. I got this in a three pack, um, like small, medium, large from Amazon as well. It makes life so much easier. Um, I'm sure this has a tool name, but I don't know what it is. It's to help you take the top of the rollers off. You can also use it to take like the tops of your essential oils off, like if you're like down to the end, but this definitely comes in handy. And another fun product that I have picked up along the way are these really, really cute little carousels to hold all my different royal rollers. Um, they're by the brand Elevated Wood Design. I found them on Pinterest or Etsy. I order them through Etsy, but I think I saw them, or I mean, I'm sorry, I found them on Instagram and I order through Etsy. And they also come with not only the carousel, but they come with a little three wood trio as well. Um, they come in different shades of wood. They have different tops, like this one's just a clear, or this one's like a clear with bubbles, and I absolutely love them. They are great, great products. Come super, super fast. I'm really, really impressed with this company. Um, so like I said, I will go over the different oils that you will need as we go through them, but if you're gonna follow along, I'm doing oil bottles, like the rollers, and I'm doing um, different bottles. All of my rollers and all of my bottles I've gotten from Amazon. And then um, for my rollers, I will be putting fractionated coconut oil in. You can do almond oil. I have both, but I prefer the coconut oil. Um, for one of them, you'll need um, some of the 50% I don't know what that word is, alcohol, rubbing alcohol. Um, for one of them also, um, some witch hazel, and I prefer the brand Thayer's. Um, I got this actually at Marshall's, but you can pick it up at Walmart, Target, Amazon. And then also, last but not least, we will need some water. So I just put it in a jar. So yeah, let's get started and make some recipes. This is many, many, many hours later. My mom ended up stopping by and we went to a store real quick and then it was time for my massage. And so this is post having a massage done, but we're here, let's make it. So the first one, and I'll try to say things nice and slow cause I know it's confusing, but I'll also put all the recipes down below in the description bar. Um, so for my sleep spray, um, I use this to like spray in my room. Are you like, primarily what I use it for is to spray our sheets and our comforter and our pillows because like if our dogs sleep in our bed or my husband sometimes just smells at nighttime. It's a man thing. Um, I like to spray this on our pillows and on our bed. Um, and it really just smells really good. So I put in here 10 Valor, 10 Lavender, 10 stress away and 10 purification. So I'm just gonna take the top off, easy peasy, put 
the little um, thing up top. I'm gonna take all these lids off just to make it nice and easy. So like I said, we're gonna use Valor. We're gonna use Lavender. We're gonna use Stress Away. And we're gonna use Purification. So on here, you see on all the tops of my bottles, I have little stickers. I got a big um, bulk sticker sheet of them from Amazon. I don't remember if I said this earlier or not, but all of my bottles, everything like that, I got on Amazon and all the oils themselves are from Young Living and Young Living only. Don't buy your oils from Amazon. <laughs> Cannot say that enough. So we're gonna do 10 drops of Valor. We're gonna do 10 of lavender. Oh, we got 11 that time. Uh, lavender is a lot thinner of an oil than Valor was. We're gonna do some stress away. This one's gonna be nice and light as well. All right. And 10 of purification. All right. Now, all we're gonna do, I'm gonna keep the top on it just because when I pour the water through, A, it'll make less of a mess, and two, it can get on any of the excess oils that are still caught in here. So if you look, we filled up to about there. There was a little bit of water left over. You can see like the tart, the dark layer of oils on top. I'm just gonna slowly pour this in to get all the excess oils in. Oh, taking. Gotta get air in there to make it actually work, so I can't hold it. And shake it all up, and you can see the oils in there, and so each time you use it, you just gotta shake it up. And then, the great mister on them. So yes, so this was the sleep spray. This is what I use really for anything, but I like it for um, our bedroom and then our comforter and our sheets and our pillows. And again, it's 10 Valor, 10 Lavender, 10 Stress Away, and 10 Purification, and you fill up the rest with water. Next, I'm gonna do another bottle fill up, and this is the spray that I put on our dryer balls. And so when we, instead of using the dryer sheets, um, like from Downy or whatever, um, I throw dryer balls in and then just to give a little more flavor, more sense to it. Um, I sprayed this on my dryer balls. Otherwise, if you're just going in straight with drops, like you're gonna go through essential oils really fast that way. So for the dryer ball, you can come up with whatever you want. I wanted mine to be a little bit more, since a majority of my laundry is for my husband and for my two little boys, I didn't want it to be super fruity or super feminine. And so I went through and I picked like all the masculine smells. And so I do, uh, let's see, I do 15 of wintergreen. I do 15 of pine, 15 of Northern Lights Black Spruce, and then 15 of cedar wood. As we all know what it looks like to drop it in. I'm gonna do this real quick and I'll come right back. All right, now I have all of my drops in there for it. So the 15 wintergreen, 15 pine, 15 Northern Lights Black Spruce, and 15 of cedar wood. I do find that if I go in just with this and the dryer balls, I do kind of have an issue with static. And so I saw a trick, um, and I tried this out before and it did actually work for us. So you put one to two, maybe one to three, because this is a little bit bigger of a bottle, um, of some rubbing alcohol in there. And so I'm just gonna put a couple tablespoons in there and then I'll top off the rest with some water. Um, and the rubbing alcohol, at least for us, seemed to really help with the static issue that we were having. And so put that in and then I'm gonna top off the rest with water and then we'll move on to the next one. This next one, I'm super, super excited and really hopeful um, for it. Um, I have a bug off sticker on it. This is gonna be my bug spray. We went to Yellowstone last week and I got absolutely eaten alive and I had every single type of bug spray there is on the market on my body and it didn't matter. I had over a hundred bug bites. My kids got eaten alive. My husband got three bug bites. That's just not fair. Um, but I don't wanna go through that again and we're going camping in a couple days. So hopefully this one will work. This one's gonna have five lemongrass, five cedarwood. This one has a lot. There's tons of different recipes out there. I'm just gonna throw that out there. 
I went with the products that I had off of different recipes that I found. So this one's like a trial run, we will see. So like I said, there's gonna be five lemongrass, five cedar wood, five geranium, five tea tree, five patchouli, five peppermint, five thyme, five vetiver, five citronella, and five eucalyptus. And then there's gonna be um, equal parts water to witch hazel in it to fill it up the rest of the way. Almost every single one of the bug offs or the bug sprays ha um, had witch hazel in them. And some had vodka, which I didn't wanna do vodka. So we're doing the witch hazel. But yes, let me get those drops in real quick and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I have all of those oils in here for the bug spray. Now I'm gonna pick up my witch hazel and my water and I'm gonna fill it up 50-50 equal parts with water and witch hazel. And then this bug spray will be done. I'm a little anxious to see what this one's gonna smell like because there's so many different scents going on, but it can't smell any worse than like bug spray, bug spray. So let's see. Actually, it doesn't smell. Oh, it smells pretty good. I like it. Not bad. I'm excited for that. Let's hope it works though. Like, I cannot deal with any more bug bites. All right, moving on. So that is it for the sprays. Everything else now is gonna be rollers, and so I need my little tool to help open up the roller roller lids, the roller bottles. Um, it looks like the first one we are gonna do is a bug off. Um, it's the sticker I had is bug off, but it's gonna be for bug bites. Um, so I'm just gonna take the lid off, take a little tool, and get the little roller ball off, and so now we're good to go. Again, I'm gonna use my little funnel, put that in, and we're gonna do 10 peppermint, 15 lavender, and 10 tea tree. So let's see, let's find peppermint, and we're gonna do 10 of these. I'm gonna do fifteen of lavender. And we're gonna do ten of tea tree. All right, and we're just gonna top off the rest of that with some coconut oil. Again, just pour it in, just like you would if it was water. Get some oxygen in there, perfect. Right. And now we got to just put the little roller bottle right on top. And there we go, we have a on the go bug bite bug off itch relief with us so we have that one and let's see what's next all right next up and hours later post dinner post baseball practice so i'm like sweaty all my makeup's gone um i'm going to fill up my sleep roller and in my sleep one i put 10 valor 10 stress away 10 lavender and 10 peace and calming um fill it up with the oils and then the rest of it I top it off with some of my coconut oil again. Um, so you notice that some of my rollers have little rocks in them, little stones in them. Um, I got a really cool pack from Amazon and they have different stones um, on the top and it's just to kind of help like these blue ones. I don't I have the paperwork in front of me but it's one that's good to like help with stress relief and sleeping through the night and stuff like that. So you'll see some of my rollers have rocks. And again, I got those on Amazon. So for the sleep roller, um, I apply this on my wrists. I apply it on my temples, sometimes underneath my nose if I really want to smell it, underneath my, or on my chest. Um, and actually with the Valor in there, Valor is known or is said to help a lot with snoring if you put it on your big toe. So I tend to like roll this up and down my foot and then I put a decent amount on my big toe. And I really do notice that I sleep like super sound and a lot better. I don't know if I don't snore though, I have to ask my husband, um, but I really do like this sleep blend. So next up I have, um, I'm gonna make an anxiety roller because hello, I deal with anxiety. And this one you can see has some really pretty stones in it as well. 
and it has um, the roller on top too, that's a stone. So for the anxiety roller, this is one, a new one to me. Um, I'm gonna put 15 stress away, seven bergamot, seven lavender, five frankincense, and five peppermint. And this is said um, to work best if you put it on your temples, your wrists, the back of your neck, um, and on your chest if you need it just a little bit more. So I am gonna fill this one up now. So this next one that I'm making, I just have a relief sticker on it, but um, it's kind of following a cool off roller. And so it's just gonna be straight peppermint and some coconut oil. I'm making this actually for my mom. Um, I'm very like her in the sense that if I get super hot, it starts making me panic and get really, really anxious. And that's how my mom is. And so this, um, you just roll it on the back of your neck or sometimes like, I just really like it on my chest if I get really, really hot and it instantly just gives like a cool sensation. And for me, it just helps me like calm down and breathe. And so it could help um, even if you're like in an anxiety situation or it's also said to help a lot like if you have a muscle ache. So like if you have a sore back or sore shoulder, you can put it on and it almost will take effect like icy hot um, where it gets the cold, cold sensation to it and just help relieve that pain. So this one, I'm just gonna put 25 drops of peppermint and fill it up the rest with um, the carrier oil. A new one I'm gonna make, and this one has some of the pink crystal stones in it. Um, this is gonna be a Be Happy Roller. This one has 10 Joy, five frankincense, five orange, five grapefruit, five bergamot, and then this is best put on your wrists and the nape of your neck um, just to help make you energetic and happy. I love how this happy one turned out so yellow and bright and it almost made the stones almost look clear. I really like the way that this one looks um, and it smells so good with like the bright citrus smells like it made me happy. So it works. Next up, um, we're going to be making one for motivation and for motivation you put two black pepper, two lime, two orange, and two frankincense. And again, it's recommended to put on your wrists and the back of your neck as well. I have like oil droplets everywhere. Like my notes are covered in oils. Like it's all over my desk, all over me. Like I'm gonna like slip and slide all over this desk for like the next week. Next up, we're gonna make an energized one. Um, again, I have like a little energy sticker on it and it's gonna have 10 lemon, seven peppermint, two rosemary, 10 orange, and three joy. And they say this is best put on your wrists, um, just on your wrists and then like rub it together, almost like perfume. So let's make energy. All right, and last but not least, I'm gonna make a headache roller. This one's gonna have four lavender, uh, two rosemary, three peppermint, and three eucalyptus. And they say this is best to put on your temples, across your forehead, and the back of your neck, kind of like wherever your headache is. But I always prefer to put like, if I'm having like aches and pains, kind of like in my head, my temples and my neck seem to help the most. So let's make headache. All right guys, that is it. We made, I don't even know how many rollers. We made three different sprays. We used quite a bit of different types of oils. Um, but if you just have the Premier Starter Kit, work with what you got. You can make plenty of sprays. Um, you can make plenty of rollers off of what comes in that. You don't need all the extra stuff. Um, I just, along the way, have added to my collection. So I like to branch out and try new things. But I now have two full carousels of rollers. And I just love that. Some of the, like these ones right here and the superheroes. Um, these are the ones I use for my kids. And then I have this little one filled up. And then I have, of course my three bottles of spray. I feel so accomplished, but I also, like I have so many scents going on right now, it's ridiculous. And it's like 9.15 at night and I have so much energy because of all this citrus smells. But that's a good thing, like Lord knows I have laundry I could get done. So I will catch you in my next one. If there's any other recipes you would like to know, uh, just leave a comment down below. I will put all of these recipes down below um, in the description box. If you have any questions, just let me know. Again, my link um, for Young Living is down below. If you just wanna ask questions or anything like that, I'm not pushy, I don't really care um, if I ever make money from this. I just really enjoy it. So I just wanted to share it with others. But yes, if you have any questions, just let me know. But make sure you like and subscribe, 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 subscribe. And I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.